We have some not so great news when it comes to MCC features, the custom game browser, and the map Waterfall for Season 6 in the MCC, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So we're getting to about that point where Season 6 for the MCC should be coming around for us. It's been about two months since Season 5's launch, which was a great season, introduced a lot of new content and new experiences for us to have, which I've really enjoyed a lot. But 343 said that they'll have a new season every two months, and well, it's been two months now since the last season, and we still don't have a release date for Season 6 because it's a bit of a mess and they're trying to figure out exactly what they can do. In the recent MCC development update, we got a little insight to that. So if you guys like these new informational videos and want to see some more content like this, make Make sure you tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So there are going to be three main topics we're going to talk about in this video. View model offsets, which is the way you can try and customize the way your weapon looks, the custom game browser, as well as the map Waterfall from Halo Online coming in with Season 6. So let's start off with the view model offset. This is a feature that was going to be in the game that's been wanted since the release of Halo Reach back in 2019, which we had back in Halo Online actually was ability to basically kind of customize exactly the angle your weapon was on your screen. You can lower it, you can raise it, move it left or right a little bit. It was actually a really nice feature. They've been working on this feature for the MCC since oh, pretty much the launch of Reach, so almost a year now, and it's finally got a chance to come into the last flight, and people didn't really find it that enjoyable to use. They didn't really find it as robust as they would have liked. 343 stated saying, so we have decided to hold off on rolling this feature out and are going to spend more time addressing feedback that was given. I'll be honest, I didn't actually try this feature out a whole lot. I kind of like the view models where they are right now, but you know, I can understand why people want to move them around a little bit. The main reason why people asked for this feature is because back when Halo Reach first launched, you had those centered crosshairs and if you had like a rocket launcher or a sniper rifle or some large scale weapon, on your screen it literally took up like half of your screen it was not the best experience but then that feature was changed to where like now the angle kind of goes up with the weapon instead of just moving the whole thing up which actually does kind of alleviate the initial issue of the reason why we wanted weapon offsets but i'm glad that 343 is working on this feature i think that the main issue was that they didn't really go as far i think as people would have liked like maybe they want to switch the weapon to the left side or maybe have a dead center like doom style okay i have some fun with it you know rather than just being like a kind of an additional kind of feature that really doesn't like give you exactly what you're looking for when it comes to weapon offsets because we've seen other games that do it and there's a lot of potential there i think it was just kind of basic for what we had at the moment for the flight. Now the feature I'm sure a lot of you guys are really, really interested about is the custom game browser, myself included. We're kind of wondering where the heck is this feature? What's going on with it? Why are there so many delays with it? And they kind of give us a little bit of an insight exactly why these bugs are holding back the custom game browser coming for MCC. We actually got some insight on what kind of bugs are actually affecting the custom game browser stated here saying, things related to the launching of a team game not functioning appropriately, gameplay flows, and some additional core issues that need to be resolved. Well, it's kind of vague, but definitely it does sound very core to the experience of playing the custom game browser. If you can't play a team game properly or just take you into the right menu at the right time, it kind of just ruins the entire experience. Even if it does actually function, if the UI doesn't work properly, then no one's going to use it. And so I'm really glad that 343 is taking the time to work on this. They say they don't have any exact timelines of when they want to put this into it. They didn't state that it's not going to be coming in season six, but it definitely doesn't sound like it's going to be in season six. They stated in the development update that they definitely want to flight this kind of feature, which certainly is a big feature that's coming to the MCC, so they certainly will flight it. I don't know if they're going to be wanting to hold back an entire season for about a month to flight this feature to make it part of season six. I have a feeling that Season 6 might be kind of limping in this time around. As soon as we know more information about the custom game browser and the current state of it, I guarantee I'll let you guys know on this channel. And as you know from the recent flight, we got a chance to play around with two new Halo Online maps, one of those being Waterfall and another map being Edge. It's been confirmed by Postums on a live stream saying that Edge is not going to be coming in with Season 6, apparently it needs a bit more love to make sure that it runs properly within the game. But they have confirmed that Waterfall will be coming with Season 6, but a little bit of a downside with this one that it sounds like it's going to be pretty limited with the experience with waterfall stating 
Wonderful will be released alongside Season 6, but will be limited to custom games for the time being. They stated that there were some performance drops when it comes to playing the map. Now, it definitely did experience this in the flight, certainly at first, though the mid-flight patch update certainly helped that out a lot. Of course, I'm playing on PC with much better hardware than, say, like, a regular Xbox One, which is probably where the issue is really lying. And it's a big shame that this map is going to be limited to custom games at the moment just because of the performance issues that it's currently having. And trust me, the performance issues, at least when I was experiencing them, certainly did affect the experience of playing on the map. Like, there were sub-60 frames a lot of times on the map, so you don't want that in your game, especially when MCC as a whole shoots for 1080p, 60fps, as for consoles you need to maintain that if you drop below 60 frames it's very noticeable in a shooter and it does affect your experience of gameplay actually and how well you can do even sometimes so again i'm glad that 343 is kind of following along of when it's ready it's ready kind of situation though i think they're just kind of throwing it in there right now just to kind of so you can have some content to play around with but it sounds like most of season six is probably going to be very much based on Halo Online armor customization. Though it's not all doom and gloom because there are still a lot of really cool things coming in with MCC Season 6. Talking about originally the Season 6 contents, we got some new Halo Online armors, we got some new cool animated nameplates as well. We have Fireteam Raven armor sets coming in with Halo 3, which I guarantee that's going to be like the new Hayabusa when MCC comes out. Everyone's going to be rocking the Fireteam Raven armor set because that just looks so cool. We also have FOV slider support for Xbox One. We have FOV slider will no longer be locked on the Xbox Series X and S when it's set to 120 frames. That's huge as well. Double keybinds, mouse and keyboard support for consoles, advanced audio settings as well. Again, not huge like bringing in crowds kind of features, but these are great quality of life improvements for the MCC that are really gonna show when you actually get a chance to play around with it, especially for your console players. So it sounds like if we wanna play some Waterfall, we might have to do some custom game nights on the MCC. So if you guys wanna catch those when we go live, Link in the description down below for my Twitch channel. I do stream every Tuesday and Thursday night. You might have to do some custom games to try around, play around with the map Waterfall and experience the fun that that map has to offer. Well, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you guys missed any content from me recently or been out of the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.